Good morning, good morning. This is your girl, Jean Kiriteng Chirenji Kobole. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe and click the, uh, the notification button so that every time I post a video, you are notified. I love you very much and welcome to my channel. Your girl talks about real life issues and reality of what's happening around us, around you, around me. And this month of August, we have been talking, dealing with, since it was a women's month, we've been dealing about all the challenges that women face. I spoke about abuse, physical, emotional, financially, sexual abuse. I spoke about uh, every challenge that women face. Last week, I was talking about challenges that women face soon after getting married, especially African women. And so many topics about women. That's what I was talking about the whole month of August. Why? Because I'm a woman. Two, I've been through some forms of abuse. Three, I overcame. And four, I'm here to motivate, inspire, encourage, and make another woman stronger. That's why I'm here. And I love talking to you because as I talk about my experiences, as I talk about those real life issues that affect you and me daily, I feel strong. I feel better. When I motivate you, I feel much better. So today, I'm going to continue and talk about us as women and conclude. Today is the, as you all know, welcome to the new month of September. Today is the 1st of September, 2020. And again, I'm, I'm your girl, Jean Kiriten Kobole Chirenje. Please subscribe. So as a woman, in conclusion of all the series I've done, talking about different things that affect us as women, women abuse and all those things. I'm going to leave you with points or notes of important things in my views, which are important, which have helped me. As a woman, point number one, if you want to take notes, point number one, as a woman, the most important thing you need is wisdom, knowledge. You need wisdom, knowledge. We spoke about it when it's like, how do you understand your partner? How do you understand your husband? How do you understand the people around you? How do you understand your children? How do you understand your, your workmates? You need knowledge. As a woman, empower yourself with knowledge. Read books. Read books about other, that are written by other women. Read experiences of other women that have overcome. If it's, about, if it's about emotional abuse, if it's about physical abuse, and get knowledge. Get therapy. Go see a therapist. Involve yourself. Take control of your life. Take control of your health. Gain knowledge about anything that is affecting you. It could be a disease. It could be mental health. It could be depression. Learn more about it. If it's your husband, if it's cheating, learn more about it. Those are the videos that I did in the past. It's if you are newly waited, newly married, or are thinking about getting married, read the, go through the videos that I've done. See what is, what are your priorities before you throw that white wedding girl. Think about if your plans are involving having a baby. Do you need to go? Are you going to give in a state hospital or are you going private? That needs money. Use knowledge. You are the woman. In my culture, in African culture, they say a home is built by a woman. So a home is built by a woman in all spheres, including financing, including decisions. Yes, your husband is the head of the, of the family, but your influence and the decisions that you make matters most. So if you want a white wedding, you want to have a baby soon after having that, do you have savings or money for a baby? There comes the video that I did for the uh, white wedding or, or the giving birth in government hospital or state hospital. Then we talk about you are married now. Yes, you're newly wedded. Forms of abuse. Are you not abusing your partner or you are being abused? How do you know? Gain knowledge and wisdom. You learn. Watch my video and learn. Some things are easy. If you're, if you're not the one kind of a person that likes to read, watch someone that talks like me. Then you can learn. Through a video, what I'm talking to you, you can learn. So you need wisdom and knowledge. And second point as a woman, you need to be prayerful. Whatever religion you are from, you need to be prayerful. You need to commit your, your marriage because marriage on its own is designed as a ministry by God. You need to commit it before God. Pray for it. Pray for the children, the, the fruits of your marriage. Pray for all the challenges that you face and commit to it wholeheartedly. 
commit to your marriage. I know some women will commit to other things like girls' meetings, girls' outings, leaving your husband. Don't create or invite the devil in your marriage. Commit to your marriage 100%. Every day, put a, put a percentage. How much did you put in towards your relationship? It could be buying um, enticing toys. It could be in making your, host, your partner happy. It could be in making him happy somehow. It could be making him his favorite meal. But do something to spice up your relationship, your marriage, girl. You are in control. You don't need to lose the ball on this. Be in control. Invest in your marriage. And when, you, when it involves children, you need to invest in your children's life. Each and every one of them. They need your attention. They need your care. There is your husband. There is your pets. There is everything that is surrounding you. There is your career, girl. There is your business. There is growing up your career. But don't neglect your ball, your marriage. It's your ball. You can't drop it, girl. You need to keep it together. Whatever you are doing, I know you are working hard. Work hard. But maintain your marriage. Don't drop the ball. Hate babies. Love them. Enjoy them. But don't drop the ball. Don't forget the center and focus of your marriage is the ball. That's the marriage. That's your husband. That's your spouse. If you're a guy listening to me, that's your woman. That's your wife. Don't drop the ball. This, this goes to men. This goes to women. If you are in a serious relationship, get committed to it, get serious into it, and don't drop the ball. Mind, be careful of your friends. Be careful of people that you play with. Some friends are good, but some friends are jealous, girl. That's a fact. They are jealous about your husband. They are jealous about what you have. They are jealous even about his physical body. They are jealous. That's a fact. Even your family can be jealous of you, girl. So hold your ball. Treasure your egg ball called marriage. Be careful of friends. Again, be careful of friends. Not everyone called friend is a friend. Some are friend with a s snacks. Be careful. Okay. Don't be influenced by your friends. Mind your business. Concentrate. Your eyes should be on this ball. This nachi in my hand. This should be your eye, your marriage. Concentrate on it. Invest your time in it. Nature it. Look at it. Don't look at other people's houses. Don't look at what they are doing with their partners. Look at yours. Concentrate on yours and what's in it and how can you make it better with the resources that you have. Don't go out of your way, girl, to copy others. Live your life according to your means. Living with credit card is not life. Girl, is not life. Living on credit is not life. Slaying on credit is not life. Eating on credit is not life. Real life, you pay cash for whatever you need. Unless it's big assets. I understand you need to take a bond or a mortgage bond so girls even when you work hard even when you are climbing that corporate ladder don't neglect your ball your marriage don't be stingy don't be stingy with everyone in your ball your in-laws your extended family your own family Remember the topic I discussed last week. They are part of your economical expense. Don't be stingy with everyone here. In here, it's you. In here, it's your husband, girl. In here, it's your children, girl. In here, it's your mother-in-law and your father-in-law. In here, it's your mother and your father. Married or divorced, that has got nothing to do with you. But they are, they, you need to look after them. Whether they can support themselves or not, you need to be good to them, girl. It's not compulsory, but you need to look after them. Do not be stingy, especially African ladies, with food. Do not be stingy with welcoming people in your home. Maybe the thing that makes your husband not to communicate is because you don't want his family at your house. Maybe he needs to see his family for him to lighten up. 
Some ladies were sending so many messages. My husband is moody. He doesn't want to communicate. Maybe it's because you only want you and your children. No one is allowed in here. This is a home. A home without people is boring. An empty house with no visitors is boring. But also a small house with so many visitors can be exhausting. So you as a couple manage your bow nicely. You don't want it to burst with a burden. You don't want it to burst with overcrowded. You don't want it to burst with pressure. Don't allow gossip inside this bowl. Don't allow the people inside here to control this bowl. Remember, this bowl, this house, is only controlled by two bosses. You, your wife, your wife and husband. Only. Even your children cannot control this bowl. One of you, if he drops it, the other one must pick it up. Two of you must hold this ball like this. It must balance. 50-50%. If the other one is weak, the other one is strong. The other one is weak, the other one is strong. That's marriage. That's same way with your communication. It goes round, move both ways. It must flow. The moment communication becomes one-sided, your ball is not, is not going to be straight. It's going to slide. You don't want your ball to slide. You want your ball straight. It's work. Hard work. Girls, if you're listening, marriage is hard work. Lastly, do not neglect. Do not neglect the sexual part. The intimate part of your marriage. Do whatever you can to spice it up. We spoke about toys. We spoke about so many things. Experiment on each other. Marriage is just for the two of you. Experiment each other. Do your fantasies on each other. This is yours to rule and control and to make experiment, experiments. Experiment on each other. Go toy shopping. Do adult stuff. Go outing. Couples therapy. Go learn about sex. Book yourself for a therapist. Learn more about sex. Learn more how you can. If you are not comfortable, have a journal. Write each other. Send each other texts about the, what you want him or her to do to you. Entice each other. Excite each other. Be motivated for each other. Motivate each other to like each other. That's marriage. I know it's impossible. I know it's look complicated. But that's why marriage is work. You have to work it out so that you don't drop it. If you get tired, girl, it's going to roll. If the man gets tired, it's going to fall. Because one person cannot handle it. One finger is not going to be able to handle it. It needs two fingers. That's your marriage. It needs that two of you. The moment it has got a 30 person jagging, leaning support, there's a problem. We don't want a 30 part in this ball. Except the contents I mentioned. Children, family, extended family. But they don't control. They don't rule. I spoke about sisters-in-laws, husbands. Make sure your sisters do not control your marriage. Sisters-in-laws, this is a marriage for two people. Do not get involved. Do not get involved. Even if two people, these two people have got issues, there are so many people to go for counseling. First of all, talk to yourselves. Find a solution. If you can't, go to an outsider first than an insider. Either way, insider, you say, puts pressure on you guys. An outsider always works better. Go to a marriage counselor. Go to someone that counsels couples and talk about it. And then it can be resolved. And then ladies, last but not least, take care of your health. Take care of your health. Don't put pressure on yourself. Exercise, eat health, be comfortable with your body. I said the other time, you are worried about gaining weight. Is your husband worried about it? Or is he happy about it? I had guys coming to my inbox and say, please, I don't know why my husband, my wife is, is bunting. I was happy with her when she had gained weight. Now she looks so skinny and all that. It's, 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 it's no longer appetizing to me. She's no longer the woman that I fell in love with. I loved her when she had the hips, when she had all bored out. So those decisions, once you are married, remember you are one. Consult each other before you start losing weight. 
even though you don't feel comfortable talk to your husband that's why this channel of communication must always be open discuss things like this discuss things and issues about bodies do you what do you think can we do it together when is the limit can i stop here but sometimes when you lose weight you lose everything you lose your you, you, you can lose weight on your breast as well maybe you love the breast and now they are gone problem ding ding so consult each other talk to each other yes it's your body but it's also his body because he eats it you eat him so you need to consult each other and make each other happy and comfortable it's your ball your ball you started it you handle it your way but keep it healthy flow of communication working together being supportive not putting pressure on each other not abusing each other when i did the topic of abuse ladies i think we learned we also abuse men so many times let's not be controlling freaks controlling each other so much let each other have space but spend quality time with each other enjoy each other's space don't suffocate each other but enjoy each other's space and uh lastly be clean be smart, be smart but if you can't do some things or if you feel like your work is making or uh, putting too much pressure on you physically as a wife or your husband can't do the house calls i know some african men can't do house calls because they just can't then look for a helper but when you even help her remember you as a wife still is in control it's your house and girl you need to manage it she's there to help you but not to help you with everything so you still you and your husband discuss with to what extent does the helper ends does she cook or does she not does she serve him food or does she not do you eat together on the table which I encourage most couples to do eat together on the table eat together even in the same plate it creates bonding it's beautiful it's nice so ladies gents this is your ball end of august i'm leaving it to you i'm against divorce I'm against marriage is breaking up. Work on your solutions. Work hard on keeping this ball on top. Whether it's going to float, it's okay. As long as it's not on the ground. It must be always be up. People inside, people inside, please these two only rule this this ball, this house. It has got two bosses. You can come visit, stay and all that. Don't forget your position. And I said, no matter how nasty, ugly you think your mother-in-law is, she's still a mother to you. Because she gave birth to your wife or to your husband, she's still your mother. No matter how nasty or ugly she is, treat her like your mother and God will bless you. There is nothing I can tell you about what to do with the mother-in-law because there's no secret. She's a mother. You must love her and treasure her and listen to her and tolerate her. And that's it. Whether she appreciates it or not, she's still a mother. So ladies, I hope August we have learned a lot and I hope you have been helped. I have learned a lot from abuse all the topics who our husband cheat with i've learned a lot and i'm grateful and i'm thankful and i'm saying now welcome to the month of september where we will be venturing in new topics and enjoying them together we shall learn we shall gain knowledge we shall have fun we shall cry but together i just decided i'm not just going to end there our last video you saw what happened hackers were trying to hack my account whilst i was doing a presentation but it did not go well because with god all things are put up 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 are possible all things are possible i love you girls i love you my girl if nobody have told you that they love you today first month of september i love you with the agape kind of love
May God bless you and keep you strong for you and your family. This is your girl, Jean Kiditeng Chirenje Kobole. Please subscribe. Invite other girls to come and subscribe. Thank you very much. I love you.